Alright guys, going to do a quick walk around and uh, just point out some things and differences between a formal A and a formal Super A. And the A is in 1940. The Super A is in 1953. Basically, mechanically, they are the exact same tractor. What makes the Super A Super is two things really I guess the hydraulics being the most important and the second being the electrical system although the, the A did have the electrical system later on uh, most of the 1939s and 40s were as this one was simply a hand crank so taking a closer look On the A over there, you see the big hollow space underneath that gas tank. It's just emptiness, total emptiness. And that is where the hydraulics is all mounted on the Super Ray. Going straight down from there, straight down to this one. All the hydraulic system. Next to the hydraulics is the battery box. Of course, no battery box on the 1940. Alright, the 1940 is a plain Jane, as plain as can be. Okay, now if you look at that oil filter, which is located right after the distributor cap, that oil filter canister there, see how tall it is. Now on the Super Ray here, the 53, it's quite shorter. I say shorter by about eh, four to six inches shorter. Okay, same magneto, same governor, the hood is exactly the same, gas tank is the same, and the front grill is the same. The difference in the two is in the mechanics and the electric. Okay, obviously, you look at that bell housing over there, you see nothing, nothing but a bell housing, no starter motor. Right here, you have a starter motor. Okay, the bell housing is different. Okay, the transmission, I believe, is the same, but the bell housing is different. All right. Other than the electrical system and the, um, the hydraulics, they are basically the same. For those who have never uh, seen my tractor before, this might be a curiosity point, point to look at this box here. There's a, a uh, coil in there. All right, the coil and condenser are inside that box. I converted it over to the uh, to a coil because the coil inside my magneto went bad. So I have it, uh, but that's not original, obviously. Okay, so just ignore that. All right. Front and rear tires and rims are the same. I believe, as on the 1940A. Okay, so basically what they did was they took the 40A and they really just uh, went over it and improved it with the two most important things that needed improving, which was getting away from the hand crank and going electrical, with a hand crank, charging system, lights, and um, a starter motor, obviously and the hydraulics. Now the rear is almost identical, right? Slightly different uh, drawbar, but almost identical. That's a uh, swinging straight, a swinging drawbar that you see on the A there. And the Super A is a standard drawbar. Okay, obviously the uh, arms on the back for the lift. Okay, on the Super A. On the A, um, mechanical lift would go through those two holes you see here where my hand is and the whole mechanism would be mounted to that with a, uh, a mechanical hand lift but um, other than those things really the hydraulics the electrical system and a few other minor tweaks 
they are really the exact same tractor. Um, so it's not that often that you see both of them parked side by side like this, unless you're at a show to really look at the differences. But um, all the other parts are interchangeable. Okay, the tires, the rims, the carburetors, everything else is interchangeable. Okay, looking at it from this side, you can also see, if you look over at the Super A, you see the generator, the black generator, with the voltage regulator right beneath it. Okay. On the A, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Okay, this is, I guess, keep saying it, this is as much of a plain Jane as you can possibly get. This is just um, mechanics. 100% mechanics, this tractor is. Okay, no electrical at all. Zero. All right, absolutely zero. The only thing that even comes close to electricity in this is the magneto. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, the Super A has a kind of a different look to it because it doesn't have the hollowness in the frame, you know, after the engine. And after the gas tank, has a bit of a different look to it, but it's the exact same tractor. It really is. And, uh, you know, again, side by side, uh, it's interesting to look at the two of them. But other than those things I pointed out, uh, really, they're the same. Same tractor, they had, they, uh, they, they made something that worked and they stuck with it and they just improved on what they made. They didn't uh, try to, uh, change things. You know, like the old expression, uh, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Well, they didn't fix it. They just improved it a little bit. But it's the same tractor. So, I just wanted to do this quick video and show you the difference. 1940, 1953. Okay. And, uh, there are, there are definitely a few things on both tractors that are not original. I'm aware of that. Don't need that to be pointed out to me. Um, and uh, but that's what the situation is. So just wanted to do a quick video of this, since, like I said, you don't see them side by side that often like this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Book them, Daniel.